So we're going to look at how we use systems of equations to solve problems, specifically when we need to use the quadratic formula to solve kinematics problems. So we kind of usually set up these questions as what I've been terming uh, catch-up questions. And that's just when an object is trying to catch up to a, something ahead of it by accelerating at a constant rate. So here's the uh, question in, in this particular scenario. So Mr. Goche's cat, Rory, is an avid race car driver. She is good at racing because her feet don't touch the brake pedal, and she simply puts a brick on the gas pedal. She is traveling at a constant 92 meters per second, quite fast, where her car tops out at speed. When she passes a police car traveling 14 meters per second in the same direction, the police car turns its lights on and starts accelerating at a rate of 3 meters per second squared, but the cat is already three meter, 300 meters ahead of it. So how long in seconds will she be ahead of the police car? Well, when they catch up, we know something's going to be true. We know that the displacement of Rory, I guess my cat, is going to be equal to um, the displacement of the police car. But we have this 300 meters to work in. So it's going to be 300 meters ahead. Now Rory is traveling at a constant speed. And when we have constant speed, we have uniform motion. So I'm going to write 300 meters plus, well, we're not going to write distance now. We're going to write what distance is equal to, or velocity times time. So the velocity of Rory times time. The police car, on the other hand, is accelerating. So we have to use one of our equations of motion. And the one that we're going to use is the velocity of the police car times time plus one half the acceleration of the police car times time squared. So we can start subbing in some values. I'm going to ignore units, just it's going to get messy otherwise. So 300 plus 92t equals 14 meters per second t plus 1 half 3 meters per second squared t squared. 300 plus 92t equals 14t plus 1.5t squared. So the goal here is to get this into quadratic form. So I have t squared on the other side. So 0 equals 14t plus 1.5t squared. Take away 92t. Take away 300. Collect terms. Uh, we'll have to put them in order of power. So 1.5t squared. 14 take away 92 is minus 78t minus 300. So this is now in the correct form. 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where obviously our x's are equal to t's. Well, we're just looking for time, and we know that we have a quadratic formula here. There's a couple different ways we can solve it. So the most common one is the quadratic formula. Where this is our B term, this is our A term, and that is our C term. With most of these catch-up problems, we won't necessarily have to find the, the subtraction version of this, but we can find both roots now. Um, we are just trying to demonstrate how this works. So x is equal to negative, negative 78 plus or minus root 78 squared minus 4 times 1.5 times negative 300 all over 2 times 1.5. So 
So we'll do everything under the root here. 78 squared minus 4 times A times C. Seven eight eight four all over two times one point five. Take the root of that. X is equal to seventy eight plus or minus eighty eight point seven nine all over three. Let's get them off my page here a little bit. So now is where I need to make the decision. We'll do the plus root, so we'll use plus first. So plus 78 divided by 3. X equals 55.6 seconds. Or I guess T equals 55.6 seconds. Now just so we can clearly show that. Um, we can now do the minus root, so 78 minus 88.79 divided by 3. X would also be equal to negative 3.6 seconds. So we have two roots. Obviously the negative time one doesn't make any sense. So at 55.6 seconds they will catch up. Um, significant digits say this should be 56 seconds. For part B of this question, it says the American border is 5.2 kilometers away from the point the cat passes the police car. Will the cat make it to the U.S. border before the police catch her? So we just need to figure out how far she went. And even though we're looking at how far the cat went in this particular problem, um, realistically it's how far the police went because that's who got passed. So for question B, the police car was accelerating, so distance is equal to BPT plus one half AT squared, um, where this is really the initial. We're just gonna solve for distance. The velocity of the police car was 14 meters per second. I now have a time. Just use this equation. We're basically just solving for one half of it. Um, and since it's from the police perspective, we'll use the police, police's motion. So 14 times 55.6 is 778.4 meters plus 55.6 squared times 3 times 0.5 is 4637 meters plus 778 is 55,415 meters equals 5.4 kilometers. So it's going to take 5.4 kilometers for the police to catch them. Uh, the border is only 5.2 kilometers away, therefore the cat is going to be able to make it across. So this is generally how those questions work. Um, there's not a lot of changes we make. We make, we change the acceleration, we change the initial speeds. Um, pretty much every time you do this, you can actually just use um, quadratic formulas. Uh, you can also just use software. So this is a TI, TI Inspire and we can just go to um, a second power function and you can see there's my form. So there's a lot of really creative ways to make this work. So where's my, let's bring down my my form here. So just plug it in, 1.5 tab negative 78 tab negative 300 poly roots. There are my two roots without actually doing a lot of work. Again, we're doing physics here, so using a quadratic solver is not a big problem. 
Um, however, you should probably know how to do this from your math class. And that's how these work.